How's it going everyone? Mike here with March 28th, Merch by Amazon Sales Update. As you can see here, we're back to normal, or at least uh, my normal. 11 sales is the total. This, uh, this resulted in $208.89 in total sales, which equals to $42.72 uh, in royalties for my account. And uh, I was looking at this number, royalties per sale is now averaging, or at least for that day, $3.88, which is kind of my average across the board. And I, I was looking, I, was, I saw a video probably from uh, the end of 2019, and that was around $2.50. So I was, if for anybody who's regularly been watching my videos, I've been talking about uh, working on that because, you know, the question is like, what what are you in this for? Do you are is, are you in this to to make money? Are you in this to tear up quickly? And uh, and for me, you know, I was at that point, I was at a tier eight thousand, and uh, I was thinking, you know what? Because some people were suggesting increase your your prices because. Uh, you know, if you have a product that's that's good quality, good design, it will sell the same number of of items. Uh, at let's say if it's a T-shirt at nineteen ninety nine, as it would, you know, at seventeen ninety nine, and same thing for pop sockets. Like, why would you price them at twelve ninety nine and then make pennies if if you can if they will sell at fourteen uh, fourteen ninety nine. And uh, and this was uh, there were a couple of people asking me in, in the comments over the last couple of days about prices and everything. And, and that's kind of been my conclusion as well. Uh, not only am I making more money, but but the sales were not affected. There, there are people, for example, that would suggest and I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent right now, but I'll keep it short. There are people that suggest that if you're in a lower tier uh, and, and at that point, you're not going to be making a lot of money anyways unless you're a pro let's say you're you're actually in that business so uh you know you're going in aggressively but for example if you're a tier uh, 10 or 100 uh people suggest you know just make pennies the point is to get out of those tiers because then you can actually start making some serious sales and and where the the money will actually add up so so i've seen that but for me like i said i haven't noticed uh, the difference and and sometimes uh, actually if you do price a product uh, if it's a you know a standard t-shirt or a premium t-shirt at you know 19.99 I, I know some people will price premium t-shirts at 21.99 uh, you might even see an increase in sales so it's it's a funny thing right so when it comes to pricing I would say unless you're really off uh, it, it, it won't make a difference if your keywords your titles and all that kind of stuff is very clean on point and then, of course, if your design is, is a good one, uh, you will sell. Uh, so, so that's kind of like a little thing about pricing and, and uh, royalties uh, to keep in mind, just because that question has come up. So I would say, you know what, don't worry about it too much. If you're, if you, if you're putting out a good product, it, it will sell. Um, okay, so 11 sales yesterday compared to as you can see here uh for the day before and that was the the tie for the worst uh day of the month so it, it is early in the morning today as you can see i already have uh two three sales actually uh and and at the beginning of my video yesterday i mentioned that this is kind of like what i wake up to uh usually and and yesterday was just completely off so uh i'm, I'm glad that you know we're back to 11 and we'll see uh what happens uh today that brings me to my total this is the total across the board for the month 285 I was saying that I was uh, a little hesitant or scared wasn't sure if I was going to crack uh, 300 and somebody made a comment and said oh you'll do it and you know what now I'm, again I'm, I'm one of those guys that's very optimistic and and confident uh, but I don't want to you know uh, be too confident and then fail so I do have a feeling I actually might crack uh, 300 uh, sales this month, which is which is amazing. And not that it makes any difference if it's you know 295 or 305, but it's just that psychological uh, benchmark of, of you know a 300 sales. So I was just doing the math before I started recording, and I've uh, I've passed uh, 
I've hit five thousand dollars in sales for the month, uh, and uh, and I'm about a thousand dollars in royalties, uh, which is uh, really nice. As you can see here, uh, sales across the board, and uh, actually to be fair, this number should be two eighty three because I'm including or two eighty two because I'm including. Uh, today's sales as well but let's see let's redo it and 282 is the number so just quickly to review the the totals uh, this the u.s market 238 dollars uh, sorry sales for 836 dollars uh, compared to uh, last month which is 165 and then i like to pull this chart up to show you guys that uh, right now, the only competition that I have for the U.S. market is November of 2020, going back to April of 2019. So now we're talking two years. So th these are my best sales in the last two years. And then again, if we look at this, this was short-lived. This was due to uh, uh, one of my products being... Uh, tagged as Amazon's choice and I know that I talked about that in one of the videos maybe two three days ago uh, where one product was tagged as Amazon choice and and then taken down immediately the the following day uh, somebody also made a comment basically saying that they have one or more products tagged as Amazon choice and it has absolutely no effect on their sales uh, for me I had a different experience because all of these months here uh, they were so high due to that uh, tag, Amazon's choice tag, because as soon as it was taken down, I think it was somewhere in uh, here, uh, December or January, uh, the, my, my sales significantly dropped and for that one product uh, especially. So anyways, what I'm trying to say here is that my numbers, I'm cracking numbers, best numbers uh, in the last two years. So th again, that's a pretty good feeling because as you can see here, 2019 and 2020 again 2020 was an exception because of covid uh, but again if we're just looking at the numbers uh, best numbers in two years uh, the last thing uh, I, I do like to mention every time uh, is uh, is this number i would just been kind of getting into that territory of uh cracking eight thousand sales uh which means that I still would not have been tiered up to 10,000. So that the fact that I'm in tier 20,000 and, and we're talking about these numbers is, is great for me. And I just noticed this number, I'm going to crack $130,000 in sales uh, since I started working with merch. So that's, I, I don't look at that number. I, I mean, it really doesn't mean much to me because uh, this is, this is the, the take home. Uh, but again, uh, you know, these little milestones, it's nice to see, hey, you know, I just realized I did $130,000 in sales on merch. That's pretty amazing. Anyways, that's it. Oh, yeah, there was one thing that I wanted to mention. And I know a lot of people don't watch these videos completely, but hopefully uh, maybe somebody who, who asked that question will uh, will see this. This number of rejections has spiked since I got tiered up to 20000 and uh, like I'm in between, yeah, I'm, I'm worried because that's a big number of rejections. Uh, but what I will do is I, I go in because it was a simple and honest mistake. So for example, I, I was uploading probably over 100 designs and they were all about gun rights and Second Amendment and all that kind of stuff. And what I didn't do is deselect or unselect or whatever you want to call it, the kids fit. And basically there were, you know, hundreds of products that went to that were that related to guns uh, uh, that were <laughs> listed on, on kids, uh, t-shirts. So all those are automatic rejections. So I, all I have to do is go in, edit the designs, uh, take, take out the kids, uh, fit and uh, they will go through. The other thing that I want to point out, and I'm, I'm not sure if anybody has had this experience is, uh, my, my pop sockets for the Italian marketplace have been uh, rejected in in huge numbers and I thought and it, it's a common term and I still can't figure out what it is because I'm using the Merch Titans uh, automation translation tool and uh, and I don't use any of the words for example like pop socket or even like something that that could be 
uh, th there could be a copyright against it. And, and that's the reason that they get rejected. So I really, it's, it's probably a term that's so common, I guess, in English that uh, the, the Merge Titans animation uh, is translating to something that there is a copyright in Italy. And, and th that's why they're, but again, there have been multiple categories and niches and, and I still haven't actually, I, I haven't done much research and looked into it closely, but, uh, but that's, that's what's added to this number. So that's pretty much uh, where I stand. I, I'm not too concerned uh, because like I said, there's probably a couple hundred that, that will get through once I actually uh, spend some time and edit those uh, descriptions and titles and, uh, and I guess uh, brand names. Anyways, this has gone over 10 minutes. Uh, good day, uh, you know, 11. Uh, good day so far today. Uh, we'll see how the month ends. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you soon.